Attention is focused once again on the Middle East, where events in Iran have taken a dramatic double twist. Forced to free his palace in Tehran, the Shah and his queen arrive in Rome after an alleged attempt by the Imperial Guard to arrest Dr. Mossadegh and a refusal by the Shah to dissolve Parliament at Mossadegh's request. In Tehran, it looked as if Mossadegh would soon be named president, and on his orders, troops occupied the Shah's palaces and surrounded Parliament. And then the people themselves took a hand. Three hundred killed and hundreds wounded is a conservative estimate. The rioters freed those taken prisoner earlier and stormed the house of Mossadegh. Foreign Minister Fatimi gets through. First reports that he was torn to pieces have not been confirmed. Meanwhile, the mob flocked the streets demanding the return of the Shah. Mossadegh and his government were swept from power in favor of General Zahidi, the man appointed by the Shah in the first place. The thoughts of Britain instinctively turned to Abadan, that monument to British enterprise and engineering skill. Forced to abandon what we had created in the wilderness, is it too much to hope that we shall see once more the tankers of Britain at Abadan? Maybe sanity will yet prevail and Iran and Britain go forward in harmony.